Is this even gonna work? Welcome back to my channel. We are gonna be doing the most with the Maybelline and Gigi Hadid collab. I was so excited when I saw them coming out with this collection. I was on there, I was on Ulta, I was like, gotta get it all. I'm really excited to show you guys how I created this look. Basically in this video, I'm gonna be trying out the products for the first time, creating this look, and telling you guys my thoughts on the products. So, get pumped. Get ready. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you already like what you're seeing and don't forget to subscribe right down below. Hit that little subscribe button and turn the notification bell on if you want to be part of the Rockstar fam, the notification fam, all the fans we got going on and let's go ahead and get into it. Honestly, there are a lot of really cool, whoa, I have something stuck in my throat. I post made myself this coffee today. Snap fam already knows. That's the kind of Monday I'm having. It's Monday right now while I'm filming and that is the kind of day I am having. But anyways, so there are a lot of cool products in this collection that I'm excited to try out. I did buy one of the primers. I ended up getting the medium deep shade of the tinted primer. I think this may be a little dark for me, but what can you do? They did have another shade. It was light medium. So if you're around my skin tone, I would actually recommend going to that one. But let's just hope that this like blends out a little bit. That's the problem with ordering online. <laughs> I feel like I always either overestimate or underestimate my shades. Is this even gonna work? Should I wipe it off? Honestly, I feel like once I blended it in, it's not too shabby. Luckily, it is a primer, not a foundation. So it does blend into your skin. You do have to work fast with it though. Because it's a primer, it was getting very tacky very quickly. So I had to really like work it into my skin quickly, but I feel like it's all right. Like my face actually kind of matches my neck, which is very uncommon for me. Like usually my face is so much lighter than my neck, so not bad, not bad. There's no foundation in the collection, so I'm just gonna go in with my normal little combo. I've been obsessed with this lately. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte mixed with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. It's good. It has like the right amount of coverage, but the right amount of luminosity and staying power, it's my favorite right now. And I just gotta go in and prime my eyes to get them ready for the shadows. And then I'm also going to set that primer with this shade right here, which is ABH Blanc, because there actually isn't like a classic ivory shade in any of these eyeshadow palettes that I have. I'm not sure if there's one in the cool toned eyeshadow palette, but definitely not in the trendsetter or the warm. I'm starting off with the warm tone palette and this palette has a lot of beautiful shades when I was swatching it. They honestly felt very buttery and velvety. I feel like my lights were washing out the swatches a lot, but in person they looked absolutely beautiful on the skin. So I'm really excited to start out using it and I'm gonna take the shade Montecito and just blend that into the crease with a really fluffy blending brush. I am gonna be kind of jumping around between the Trendsetter palette and then the Warm Tone Eyeshadow palette just because I do wanna use the eyeshadows from both and the products from both. So in the Trendsetter palette, you get two different cream concealers, you get two cream lip products, and then four different eyeshadows, a blush, a bronzer, a highlighter, and a mascara. And again, these were swatching really nicely. The concealers do feel a little bit on the lighter side. And then the eyeshadows and all of the powder products swatched really beautifully. So I'm excited. Um, I'm gonna dig into this matte brown first. This is the shade. <laughs> this is the shade nine. I'm just gonna be taking that on a Mac 217 and blending that into the crease, really focusing on the outer corner. Honestly, these shadows are really nice. When I'm applying them, they just blend out like butter. I really, really enjoy the formula, honestly, and I feel like Maybelline's even improved their formula maybe because, I mean, I already like most Maybelline eyeshadow palettes that I've tried, but this formula definitely feels a little bit new and improved. Like, it just feels like it's blending out like velvet. It feels very, very buttery. I'm really impressed. Next up, I'm gonna take the shade down here called Pacific Coast Highway and place that into the crease on a little bit more of a tapered brush. And I'm really gonna be focusing this again on that outer corner, but just using it to deepen up the crease. And taking the lighter concealer from the Jet Setter palette, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up that lid space so that we can then move on to a little bit more of a metallic inner corner. I'm gonna take Blondie next, and then just go ahead and fill in where we put down the concealer. Everything blended together really nicely. The metallic, oh my God, it is so pigmented and beautiful. I really like the tone of it. 
yeah, I'm happy with the eyeshadows. Moving on to liner. There are three different eyeliners in the collection. So there's two coal eyeliners, but they're actually considered gel liners. So they're meant to have a gel formula, even though they are in pencil shape. And then there's also a liquid liner. They're very creamy when you apply them and they just have so much pigmentation. I'm really, really impressed with both of the blacks, both the gel coal eyeliner and also the liquid liner. They look very, very dark, which I live for. So I'm excited. I'm gonna be using the liquid eyeliner first to create a cat eye, a fierce wing, as you may call it. And I'm just going from the edge of the eye out to the end of the eyebrow and then back in to create a triangle. Even though it's called a liquid eyeliner, it definitely has like a felt tip to it, but this felt tip is so easy to work with. I personally don't love felt tips. Usually I, I prefer a brush tip, but I was able to get a very nice sharp wing, fill it in, it's nice and opaque. It's very, very dark, very black. I'm impressed, I'm impressed Maybelline. Oh my God, I totally forgot to use the eyeshadow brushes. Well, I guess I will be saving that for another day, another video, because I totally forgot. I never think of Maybelline as like a brush brand, so I wasn't even thinking about it. Oh, I'm sorry guys, I'm so sorry. But I'll for sure try to try those out soon, and if anything, I will talk about it on Snapchat, so make sure you're following me there. Um, my username is just Rox93, and if you're already part of the Snapchat fam, you'll probably see it coming up soon. I'll try to do that, but yeah, I'm very sorry about that. I do love this packaging. So this is a dual ended mascara. There's a fiber mascara on one side and then a black mascara on the other. Ooh, I do not know if I'm gonna like that. Whoa, it is legit. Like it just looks like cotton or something. I mean, that is the black side. I'm honestly scared to use this one. I don't know if fiber mascaras will work if you're still gonna use falsies because y'all know I'm still about to use falsies here. I have a good idea. We're gonna use it on one side and see how it goes. It's literally like a dry fiber mascara. I've never used anything like this, but you know what it feels like? It feels like you're rubbing cotton on your eyelashes. But let's see if it makes a difference. I'll, chew, I'll just do that one side, and then I'm gonna go straight in with the black mascara. I feel like since those fibers were dry, they weren't actually like adhering to my lashes that well. So I don't know how big of a difference it's gonna make. I honestly don't see a difference between the two sides, the one that I used the fiber on and the one that I didn't, besides the fact that I feel like I have fibers in my eye and it's kind of irritating it. I never use fiber mascaras though, so I don't actually know if that's normal to feel like that, but um, that's my first impression on that. Then I'm just popping on my favorite lashes, which are the House of Lashes Iconic Lights, and then I'm gonna take that gel eyeliner pencil and go ahead and tight line the upper lash line just to hide the lash band a little bit more. Ooh, it's so smooth. I love it. Honestly, the standout products to me so far are definitely the two black eyeliners that I've tried. These liners, are so bomb. V impressed, V impressed. Okay, so moving back to the face, we need to add some concealer on. I have to say I'm a little nervous to try out that concealer on my face just because the consistency, you can tell it's a lightweight concealer. It is gonna be sheer coverage, I would say. I think it actually worked amazingly for this part of my eye. Like it made it very sharp. It enhance the colors, it was amazing, but I'm not used to using this type of concealer on the face. But you know what? We'll just give it a try for the video. I wanna show you guys how they really wear. So I think I'm gonna mix the two concealers together cause the light one may be a little too light for my under eye area. Too light still. We're just gonna do one side for now and see how that blends out. Cause I may need to go in with a different concealer. It's not too bad, actually. Um, it is a little bit on the dry side for me. A lot better than I expected it to be. We'll put it that way. Next up, I'm just gonna finish off the face with a little bit of my Laura Mercier translucent powder and also some contour onto the face. Then we are moving back into the bronzer and I am gonna be using the bronzer that comes in the Jet Setter palette. Oh my gosh, it's such a beautiful tone. Honestly, they really hit the nail on the head with the actual undertones of these products. Oh my God! 
Oh, I forgot to use the liquid highlighter. No, oh my God. Should I still try to do it even though I have powder on now? There are two different liquid highlighters inside of the collection. So there's a gold shade and then a shade called iridescent. The gold shade is kind of like a deep bronze and then the iridescent shade is really cool. It's a holographic shade, but it definitely has some pink reflex, like really strong pink reflex. They're both really beautiful and I'm so bummed that I just forgot to use them. Like how could I forget? I love liquid highlighters. Doesn't even make sense. I don't know like how this kind of thing happens, but I'm honestly still tempted to try to use them. So we're just gonna go for it. Honestly, I don't know how they're gonna work on top of powders, but what can you do? When you apply it, it's like this white iridescent shade. And then when you blend it out, it turns into like this really cool pink. Honestly, they apply nicely on top of the powder. Like it's not patching up anywhere. It's not messing up the powder. Good on ya! <laughs> Not too shabby. Then I'm taking the blush from the palette and I'm just gonna apply that very lightly onto the apples of the cheek and blend backwards. And then we are ready for this highlighter from the Jet Setter palette. It looks stunning. So I'm here, I'm ready for it. Woo! They make a good highlighter formula. And last but not least, we're gonna move on to the lips. So there are a lot of beautiful shades in this collection. There are two different lip pencils. One is more of a nude, neutral lip pencil, and then the other is a bright red. And then there are six different lipsticks. So three of them are nudes, and they are more on the cool tone side. And then three of them are shades of red. Really beautiful collection. I think I'm gonna go for the shade Erin, which was that darkest nude neutral. It has a bit of a plum undertone, but I think it's gonna be really pretty with this eye makeup. So I'm taking the lip liner in the shade Tara. Then I'm applying the shade Erin all over the lips as our main lip color. It's very creamy, very opaque, and I have really dry lips right now, and I feel like it still looks pretty good. They've developed some really nice formulas for this collection. I feel like almost even improved formulas from other Maybelline products that I've tried, so I'm a big fan. I'm telling you right now, you need these eyeliners in your life. The liquid liner and then the black gel eyeliner. Oh my God, they're so pigmented, they're so dark, they're very creamy. Both of them were very easy to use, easy to apply, they're amazing. So definitely get these liners in your life, especially if you're looking for a good liner. Drugstore, affordable everything. The only thing that I personally didn't like and don't think that I'll use again is the fiber mascara. Again though, I don't actually use fiber mascaras that often, so I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be like, but I probably won't be using this again. I do think that the lip color is really beautiful, very, very unique, and the eyeshadows are amazing. Like both the mattes and the shimmers are very, very nice. So yeah, good job, Maybelline and Gigi Hadid. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and comment down below if there are any like upcoming collections that you want me to do a similar video where I do a tutorial, show the products in action, and then also tell you guys like my review of the products, my first impression review like I did today. I actually really like doing that and you know, being able to give you guys the inside scoop on new products that launch. So let me know down in the comment section if there are any new collections coming out that you guys want me to do a similar video with. And on that note, I think that's gonna be it for me. Remember, you are the beautiful and out. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting me. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.